My name is Tabitha Lozano, and I'm the owner of Sprinkle Splash Bakery. We specialize in traditional Puerto Rican desserts on the retail front, but our claim to fame is our 3D designer cakes. My name is Jimmy James Brown, like the singer, the third James Brown. The name of my business is Elmer's in Harlem. I named it after my granny. My grandmother passed away a few years ago, and I said the best way to carry on her legacy is to name my shop after her. She was from Trinidad. I'm the first generation born here, and uh, here we are, Elmer's in Harlem. So I specialize in freshly squeezed juices, smoothies, the best smoothies in Harlem, best juices in Harlem and I do a comfort food menu, a meal of the day. So no two days are ever the same. Some of the specialties are like my Rasta pasta, barbecue jerk chicken, grilled pineapples. So those are just an example of two meals I do. I think as a Latina who grew up in the New York City housing system and who grew up downtown in Chelsea, La Marqueta was the one place that my family was able to come and find all of those ingredients, spices, meats, fishes that they were comfortable buying in their communities when they were in Puerto Rico and as they migrated here that type of produce and groceries you couldn't find downtown mm -hmm. so we used to make the trek every Saturday. La Marqueta is very important to me because it's still in Harlem and they were willing to accept me so it meant a lot to me because you know being a small business owner um, a lot of times people build up their shops they don't even get to open you know what I mean they stay open for six months and then it's quiet it's over me, I was able to bounce back and actually have another place to come to after the West Side didn't work out. And I'm like the first African American that owns a business in the market. I know what their plans are as far as renovation. I think that'll be strong for the neighborhood. I'm excited as excited to be here as they are to have me. So when I learned that there was an opportunity here and I saw how empty La Marqueta was compared to what a thriving market it was when I used to come in the early 80s and you know 90s, it was kind of depressing. Initially I thought I was gonna find myself in a storefront, street curbside, and then um, the reality of the economics hit me and I just realized that, that wasn't something I was gonna be able to do and survive with the economic climate. And so when I learned that there was an opportunity here, I was very excited. I was excited because I knew the culture and I knew the history of La Marqueta and I saw what it was and I knew what I, it, I wanted it to be again. And so that's kind of where we're at. The colder months slowed down a little bit, affected everybody's business, including mine's. But um, the summer was crazy, it was amazing, and it's starting to turn up again now, now that it's getting warm outside. And it's so diverse, it's ridiculous. I can't even do a demographic, really. I have people all ages, from all walks of lives. I have people that run the block on Lexington come by. I have people that are doctor's lawyers that come by. I have high school students that come by. I have college students from Columbia that come by. It's been really well. Like I sold out today. I sold out of food today. Like I usually sell out every day of food. Um, so business is good. I just had my three-year anniversary last Wednesday, and as of right now, I can't say that I have seen any positive changes in La Marqueta. We've had positive changes when it comes to management, being able to voice our opinions and voice our needs and voice our concerns in terms of what we see as growth for La Marqueta. Um, however, the community is a huge component of that, and the community is not very good at supporting La Marqueta. Part of it, in my opinion, I think, is that people within the community think the Marqueta is still closed just because of the facade and how abandoned it looks from the outside. So I think there's a kind of like a disconnect in terms of the community and them knowing that we're actually here and, and trying to make change in, in La Marqueta. And then it comes down to also the gentrification of East Harlem and all of the changes that are going on in, in that aspect. Even with the gentrification, it's a plus and minus. I, I am confident that as the face of the community changes, our businesses will thrive. Millennials in particular are really big about supporting small businesses, are really big about organic, are really big about just being the game changers. Mm -hmm. And so I think that um, our market will see an increase in traffic and in, and in business. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. You did a great job. So welcome. Yeah, that was great. Good. You did an excellent job. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.
Peace and love. <laughs>